Hey Matt, where are ah! we going? Jesus Christ, where are we going? Matt Washington Auto Road. Holy shit! Yes. We're gonna get an audio tour up the mountain in our car. And then I get a bumper sticker that says I went up the mountain. And there's a museum. And my car makes a loud clicking noise when the defroster is on. Yeah. There's a stick in the dashboard and it's like $600 to have the dashboard and the steering wheel removed to get the stick out. And yeah, I can't afford it. So, we're just gonna have to listen to that. Aren't you pleased? <laughs> Unique trees have adapted to survive in this often inhospitable location, as has a wide variety of wildlife that this causes... This makes me very trees. nervous. Moose, <laughs> black bear, and deer are among the larger species, while bobcat, beaver, porcupine, raccoons, foxes, and countless types of birds can be found on Holy Mount Washington Slopes. Even on the summit, mice, moles, shrews, and foals have Please all adapted to survive in this extreme environment. <laughs> As your really journey nervous. takes you further up the mountainside, scared. notice it has begun to get a bit cooler and that the trees continue to oh. get smaller. As the road goes on to its height of more than a mile <laughs> in the sky, 6,288 <laughs> feet to be exact, the climate changes with it, eventually reaching the equivalent temperature one may find 600 miles north of here oh, wow. in the Arctic tundra Look at this. region. This is further exemplified by the truly stunning array of alpine flowers, lichens, and mosses, some of which can be seen so preserved cool. at the Observatory yeah, Museum at the summit. So cool, though. Just think of it. In the distance of just a few miles upward, you've now traveled from the more familiar oh, oh my God. forest of our region through the Krumholz right right to an area more like that of Alaska <laughs> and Greenland. I'm closer in to the edge than you. There are dozens of rare species of plants found in the alpine zone of the presidential range. Don't worry, plants like the dwarf sinkhole oh, live only the in the White Mountains Aww. and nowhere else in the planet and are listed as federally protected species. Many of these unusual plants, though small, are very old and some varieties don't even flower until they're 20 or more years old. Overall, many experts believe this mountain's landscape that you're viewing to be more than 10,000 years in the making. So again, we ask when leaving your vehicle to explore the mountainside, you're aware that the endless vistas are only one of the most obvious wonders. There is an amazing world just under your feet, which if not cared for, could be lost forever. Never pick up or step on a flower. When you're out of your vehicle above tree line, please step only on the rocks. In this way, our fragile ecosystem will be something to marvel at for centuries to come. It's crazy. Scientific interest in Mount Washington. We've reached an area of intense fog. Misty Mountains. Yes, the Misty Mountains from Lord of the Rings. Actually, I thought it looked like Brave. Disney's Brave too. But anyway, you, we can't see shit. <laughs> and we're about 5,000 feet up. Um, 5,000 feet up, yes. We have uh, about a mile and a half remaining on this road. Yeah, so... Ugh. Hopefully we won't plummet to our death or something. And if we do, I hope you find the footage and put it on YouTube. <laughs> Dun dun dun, that's very concentrated right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother him. Don't worry, I'm keeping us safe. This <laughs> looks like a pretty safe area right now. For all we know, there could be like a giant fucking hole in the ground. Could fall. Da, 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 da. Oh, here comes something coming down. Hi, oh, random stranger. On a motorcycle. Jesus. Oh, wow. They're brave. Yeah. That's probably somewhere to stop, but I'm not doing that. Yeah.
we? We're on the summit of Mount Washington, 6,288 feet above sea level. Yikes. It's like torrential out there. Like It's very foggy and windy. You're in the way. Foggy, windy. There's a wasp on the window and I'm moving now. That would be the picnic area. It's a great day for a picnic area. It's actually, even if you couldn't see the views as much today, it's fun because it's kind of dangerous. Yeah. I guess I know that's terrible to say, but... And hey, if you're complaining about your weather... <laughs> but yeah, really. This makes New Hampshire, the rest of New Hampshire look great. Which is hard to do. This is called the Breakfast of Champions, where the guy's trying to eat his breakfast with um, very fast winds at the top of this mountain. <laughs> yes, have, have some tea. Oh my god. Oh, you can walk in front of it. I don't care. <laughs> he, he almost got his toast. Not quite. I'm surprised that chair doesn't go flying. I wonder if they ever found the Wheaties box. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> I know I, I don't think he got to eat his breakfast. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Cool. We're in the museum. Yes. This stuff. Mm, so many animals. Uh -oh. What's that? Take a look at the largest mammal typically found on the summit of Mount Washington. Hmm. Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. The only thing that stands between us and certain death is a couple of rocks. What? Uh, oh! Did you have fun? <laughs> now that you've had the opportunity to experience the world above treeline firsthand, prepare yourself for a whole new series of scenic vistas on the way down. Before we continue our story, let us briefly emphasize these important driving tips. For the trip down, <laughs> the two most important facts to remember are these. First, use low gear the whole way down. This will allow the transmission and engine to act as a brake and help maintain a slow speed. Remember, low gear is usually indicated by a 1 or an L or L1 on your shifter. Second, don't ride your brakes. A pumping action of the foot pedal allows the brakes to run cooler than does a, just a steady pressure. And never use water to cool your brakes. If they begin to fade, stop at the next pullout and allow them to cool while you enjoy the view. If you're in the fog, please turn on your headlights and remember cars heading down should yield the right of way to the cars on their way up. Did you hear that, Matt? Yes. Okay. It is both the 
diversity and extremes in the weather on this mountain that have made it a center of meteorological studies since the mid-1800s. I wonder if there's a stop nearby. The Hitchcock Huntington Expedition was the first to winter over in the summit this. in 1870. It's crazy. It harsh winter wilderness which exposed these scientists to conditions they couldn't have imagined. The U.S. Signal Corps took over from 27, 1875. <laughs> August of the season, 46 below. The wind is blowing a hurricane and has done so all through the night past. Had work today. Oh to my keep god. Going. The wind and cold penetrate every cranny. Enormous drifts of snow have formed about the building, and as fast as the passage is cut out and the windows cleared, the wind drives in snow to fill out the gaps. The coal is far from being good. It is full of rocks and clinkers. Respectfully suggest that good coal and another heating stove be purchased. If such weather as this is to continue, it would be wicked to keep men in such a dwelling. Sergeant Isaac Burr. It can be assumed that good coal and another stove weren't purchased because winter occupation ceased in 1890. It took 40 years to round up another crew of oh dedicated God. weather watchers. In 1932, Alex McKenzie, Joe Dodge, Bob Monahan, and Sal Pagliuca staked a new panoramic <laughs> or whatever the hell it's called wide shot Locked off. See just what we were driving. <laughs> now Matt's gonna be scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh my gosh. He said we're allowed to go back up and down. I, don't, I don't feel like driving back up. <laughs> the car is probably like, no. I know my car's a 2004. It's like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I know it's pretty and all, but I don't want to do it more than My 2004 so. Cavalier. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pretty. Here we go around the turn. Here we go around the bend, sing a song about Whee! mom. I like that. You see a little fog staring at her from the car. I'm not going to it. Whoa. 4,000 feet. 1,219 meters for the rest of the world. <laughs> and here comes some fog. <laughs>
we made it to the bottom without Almost. falling to oh, our deaths. Oh, no. Don't do that. I'll kill you. <laughs> Not if I kill you first. <laughs> Very pretty. There's a guy in a ditch. He's like, yep, that's a ditch. I'm old. <laughs> I'm doing science, bitch. We got a certificate. Actually, no, it's I'm doing science, bitch. A master of the mountain certificate here. And for my poor car. You get the classic this car climb Mount Washington sticker. Yes. And these came free with admission. Isn't that pretty cool? There's other shit. Got an but audio I don't know. CD. Yes, and an audio CD. Wow. Cool. All right then. Did you have fun? The fog cleared up on the way down, so I got to see the nice views and all that. So it was an adventure on the way up and a uh, scenic tour on the way down. Tour on the way down, yeah. <laughs> which is appropriate because who's looking at all the scenery when you're on your way up? You can't see much of it anyway. Indeed. All right. See you later, folks.